So welcome to my studio, which is in the top of my house. This is where I get to play with my records, uh, mainly on the CDJs, and I make tracks in here as well. Got a little keyboard over here. I haven't made one for a while, but uh, I think 2020 we're going to put some new tunes out. And uh, that's where I dig through some of my vinyl for some inspiration. So we were just having a quick look, actually. Funny enough, Bone Refinery, of course, are playing with us on New Year's Day. Back in the day, who remembers the original vinyl version, 1999? And uh, I had the great pleasure of having Bone Refinery on with me. When this came out, I was hammering this on Radio 1 and we did a dance party together. I think Paul Van Dyke was on that one. It was down in South Sea. Who was there? 25,000 people. It was mad. What else have we got? Vincent de Moore, Fly Away. Right. I don't know how many of you ever used to come see me at Eden in Ibiza back in the day, but this was a tune that I love playing. It's just a kind of really nice driving, happy, uplifting tune, which sort of symbolises that era of trance music for me. So I might drop that in my classic set. You should uh, get me on Twitter, DJ underscore Dave Pierce, if you've got any suggestions of change you want me to play. Minimalistic struggle for pleasure. I just found this the other day, and I, I always remember for some reason this is one that just reminds me of doing those parties in Nottingham. Really nice tune there. System F out of the blue. I don't know why I stopped playing this a while ago. I haven't played it out for a while, so that might get its way into the classic selection on New Year's Day. Send me your suggestions. Uh, you can get me on Facebook, Dave Pierce Official, Instagram and uh, DJ underscore Dave Pierce on Twitter as well. I always love to hear from you, kind of tunes that rock your world. Maybe if you used to come see me playing back in the day. This is my memories wall, you know, just bring back some memories of some of the records that I've been involved with over the years. Thank you so much everyone that bought my trance anthems two CD this year. It was amazing to get that uh, to the top of the official UK dance charts this year. So thank you so much for that. Here's a Delirium one I found earlier. Still doing my Delirium digital only supporting new chances. I love supporting new music as well by up and coming artists. But this is uh, about some of the classic ones that I've been involved with. Uh, one of my all time favorite records was doing the um, Euphoria albums. And this one was Transcendental Euphoria, which actually came out 20 years ago. So we're going to be hanging out together the first day of 2020. This is the one we put out this time of the year, uh, all those years ago, 20 years ago, Transcendental Euphoria. And we actually sold over 300,000 copies of that. So that was just such a buzz. It was like everywhere. And on the back of that, I took um, Euphoria to Ibiza. We used to do it at Eden. And I also took Euphoria to Ministry of Sound. And, uh, you know, I did... Um, gigs there with Mara Picotto and Ferry Corston and all those guys. So for me, that just holds so many great memories. And uh, if you've got that in your collection anyway, thank you very much. It was, uh, it was a great memory. Another one that a lot of people mention, this one, 2008 Chance Anthems. I do get a lot of comments from people uh, still on social media saying this is one of the first albums of mine that uh, they bought. <laughs> Well, it's been a really mad year for me, 2019. Uh, actually one of my busiest years for a couple of years. Lots and lots of festivals, a few stadium shows as well, and some great club nights. I've been doing trance anthems around the country, but also doing these kind of big festival shows looking back at the late 90s and the early noughties. Well, I absolutely love playing at Trance Sanctuary. This will be my third appearance. I remember the very first time I did it, Scott Bond was on and Alex Morph, and I really enjoyed it so much. I went and made a record straight after that called Trance Sanctuary, which some of you might remember. And then I came back and did it with Mike Push last time. So I think for me, Trance Sanctuary is all about taking people on a journey. People are really there for the music. In my upfront set, I'll be kind of reflecting some of the big tracks that I've been playing on my Delirium podcast this year. Uh, it's available on Spotify and Apple Podcasts and on Mixcloud, so you get a vibe of what I'm playing. So it, I think it'll be a kind of look back at some of the big tunes of the year. You know, some of the artists I've really been uh, supporting, uh, Alan Watts. One of my favorite recent tracks is from Rated R, uh, a track called Forever, which I can't wait to play that out. On my classic set, I'll stack up a whole bunch of tunes that I'd love to play and then kind of just see where everyone's energy levels are and what the vibe of the room is. And I want to play some, um, you know, tracks that I haven't necessarily played out on my Trance Anthems tour because um, what's great about Trance Sanctuary is I can go a little bit deeper in my collection and maybe play records I haven't played for a long time. Mm -hmm. 